My name is Emily Miller, and at the time of filming this, I am 21 years old and on the way to graduate with an art degree and a film and English minor. Yeah, like every morning, I like go to Dunkin' Donuts, get my little Dunky Refreshy, um, and I sit in town square and like smoke my two little cigarettes and then like people watch um, before like, at, at, like, you know, like my 6 a.m. little lifestyle. I do like that little routine in the morning, just like out of my house and just, I think like that, like before I paint, like just like doing that. I am like a like art film English major minor um and so I guess like something that like I think a lot about is like why this medium um as opposed to like why isn't this a story or like um or even like within like art itself it's like why am I not drawing this like why am I painting this I mean I think like painting to me is like more flowing and also implicit than drawing personally I think like I think the movements of the oil paints I think like it's like less stated it's more subtle I think and then I think that's why I like painting I mean I don't know I mean I, mean, I also obviously I bring in like other mediums too a little bit with like collage um or like stitching like when I need to and I think just like yeah I just like seeing the limits of painting or just like is fun or just like what could really just add like this sort of physicality um I think painting already adds already so much physicality and playing around with that how I choose a painting is like either I see an image I take an image that looks very good and I'm like I want to incorporate this into something I, I mean yeah again like why is this like why couldn't this be a photo like why does that be a painting and just like like, some people, like, paint, like, backgrounds or, like, set, like, landscapes or, like, stuff like, like, so, like, uniquely or, like, stuff. And I, I don't know, I think, I think where I am interested in is, like, the setting, I guess. Like, I'm a story, I'm a storyteller. <laughs> um, but I think, like, that's why, like, I'm to these more, like, odd compositions. Like, some stuff I just, like don't find it is, if I don't find interesting then I'm just like it's not that I want to make it interesting for example it's like okay if I'm drawing a sock like I don't care about a sock like at the bottom of like a painting and I think like I'm just gonna it's like done and done and I guess also just like filling in the little the little like like filling in like the little like underpaintings and stuff like that I'm like I don't care <laughs> I don't think it's like a laziness it's just like Again, like, it's already, it's, it's being communicated. How do I make a painting look, um, like, moving thing, I guess. Like, there's, like, it's not like, okay, like, here's this present thing. But, you know, like, there are a lot of pieces coming together to create this thing. Like, how do I create that? But, and then how do I make it not look unfinished? Um, yeah, I, th I think... The boldest one I did that with was my self-portrait. And I think, I mean, I, I literally don't know. I mean, I would, I mean, yeah, I would, like, that looks really good. And then, like, pull my roommate in. She'd be like, it looks unfinished. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, when I go to, when I go to choose something to paint, it, like, what is so special about it, I guess, is what I'm thinking about. And I think, like, that's sort of, like, I don't know, it's like when you're piecing something together, when you're like thinking about something, I guess like, for me, I guess it's like the emotion behind it. So like, yeah, like clothes, sure, whatever, like not really getting depth or like the background, sure, whatever. But I guess like, there's like fear or like stuff like that, like that emotion you see in the face, I think is like something that like you do know and like you can imagine. Obviously, Rita Hayworth is in a lot of my pieces, um, actually. I was a tyrant and I made the film department um, make their faces. Like, this image makes me crazy. Um, it's Rita Hayworth, Lady from Shanghai. Um, and, like, Rita Hayworth, Lady from Shanghai is also in um, my more, like, fromage piece. I, I joke that originally, like, 
my senior thesis plan like last fall was like uh, Korean identity but then I painted Rita Hayworth and I was like well she's not Korean um but I, I mean I don't know I think I think it is just like it just is all like related to me <laughs> to me um basically basically like when I go to the paint things it's sort of just like what are things that like I like like images I like and like concepts that I like and like <laughs> I'm like okay like and that's sort of like the start of like how I paint and um the self-portrait like St. Lucy, Rita and me actually came like I mean like it just literally is just like I would be painting and I'd try and like see like oh how does like light work here so I'd go to my mirror and I'd be like holding my little palette and like you know craning my neck or whatever and I was like oh my god like like this is like a St. Lucy pose um because the whole thing about her um, so I learned about St. Lucy. There's, you know, so many stories. I guess, like, the one that I was told about her was she had a, um, like, a male suitor who, like, was in love, like, with her, like, beautiful eyes. Um, and how it was told to me is that she was so generous that she took them out because they're so tempting to him. And, like, obviously, like, when I heard that, I'm, like, she didn't take them out because she was generous. Like, she literally would just was, like, fed up. <laughs> um, and so, like, when she's depicted in painting, she's holding, like, a plate with her eyes. And so in the mirror, I behold my little palette, and I'm, like, that's the St. Lucy. <laughs> I'm, like, or, like, I see what I want to see, <laughs> and what I want to see is St. Lucy. Um, yeah, I guess this semester, um, I was interested in playing around with, like, looking specifically the active slash passiveness of it, as well as the construction of the self through taking symbols and references from history. Um, I guess I was interested in looking slash glances in that usually it's, again, like, considered a passive thing. However, sometimes you can't physically react, but that doesn't mean that there isn't this awareness, um, going on that, like, something is happening, um less vaguely put as you can see for example Rita Hayworth makes an appearance in a third of the pieces here uh there's a scene from Lady from Shanghai where she stares off into space while men like talk about her and she can't physically react but it's so clear that she's affected by it and you can tell by looking at her despite her silence um from picking up cues and I guess like with regard to like looking on that one like I think like when I was trying to figure out how to do it I guess like because there's someone looking for her in the back I just, like, it just felt, like, creepy to have her unaware of, um, to have her, like, unaware of the person, just, like, um, looking for her. It just, yeah, um, and so I made her, like, looking at us I guess like sort of like at the viewer just sort of this like like yeah again like she knows what's going on um like she's not stupid I guess like with regard to like also like looking with like passivity I think also just like I, I again like I said I was and I am very picky about what I choose to paint and I think also just like I just yeah I'm, I don't want it to be corny and what I mean by that is just like like, I, I, I don't want to be, like, too obvious or, like, too, this is how you're supposed to, like, feel about this thing, I guess. Um, which is, like, why I like sort of, like, that looking, that passivity of just, like, something. <laughs> it's, like, something is happening in that mind um, that, like, might not necessarily be allowed to be voiced. But, like, figuring that out and, like, being able to, like, pick up cues, like, this sort of like implicit like something an idea behind what I was working on was sort of like this idea of like archive ship um in most of my paintings so I'm a film major I'm a film minor um and so I was just writing about like South Korea I mean like my film in part was like you know dealing with like South Korean history um 19 like 50s in Korean War and onwards and it's like insane to like read about like all of like the destruction that like happened like and so I guess like for going around just to sort of just like 
starting with like you know it's like basically yeah like why do you need an archive it's like these things are lost and just like like purposefully <laughs> and so it's just like um like things are being wiped out purposefully and so you need to archive that um not to like be dramatic about like or like raise the importance of like my art i guess that this was probably like one of the more i mean like the most lighthearted one i want to sort of use projection of water so you have them more sweat out but also as well sort of have this gap between the viewer like this veil between them and us um like this like scene or whatever probably has happened but like i wouldn't know uh, I guess you could say that about really anything, really, but I sort of made this while working on, like, my capstone about Korean history post-partition and learning about the history that was destroyed by the ROK, and so this sort of, that was in the back of my mind of, like, this recreation of history. I learned about the idea of homage last semester um, in Arts and Crafts as Albuquerque Labor, um, and it's sort of this idea of creating a sort of a historically like women's space like crafts and how it's like there is like art in it through these like craft-based practices like you could sort of make a physical mark in the world um and so you know like yeah like scrapbooking stuff like that and I guess like I um sort of took that more obviously I guess like with the yeah like the Rita Hayworth collage, um, and then obviously with the self-portrait, um, I guess, like, yeah, like, when I was, when I was, think, I think I was trying to think about the physical, like, space of, like, the list gallery and, like, what people see and, like, stuff like that, and, like, the progression, I guess, of it, um, I mean, yeah, I think it, I think it had to end with, like, the village vine wants me dead one, in that, like, like, it finally, like, erupts, I guess, I guess, like, after all this, like, build up, like, you have this, again, like, the whole thing is, like, we know what you're doing, it's, like, well, now there's literally a fire. <laughs> I think, like, yeah, with regard to, like, painting, um, I, 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 I think the best most interesting decisions sometimes were um like when I had like a critique in like 45 minutes and I was like oh like um I mean yeah you gotta have fear in your heart is the whole thing about it um I have been trying to like get into that like fat I I, I like realize I am like very slow <laughs> um visually though my visual um definitely jennifer packer um logan put me on to her um she also is like dealing with this idea of like archival ship and like again the self portrait was like heavily influenced by her um this thinness thickness um i think also um nicole eisenman i think like her balance is really good anna marfleet of course um like, the emotion that, like, she evokes is really amazing. Oh, yeah, Mama Anderson, also, with regard to the translucency. A way that, so, like, I guess, like, a technique that I would do, though, is, like, I think what's really good is, like, my mirror. Um, I would, like, to get distance from my painting, I would, like, every few hours, I would then, like, go walk over, and I would, like look at it I would like walk over and I would like look at it through like the mirror and sort of like how does it look then um yeah or like sometimes I would go on like photoshop I think like I also I think like I think paper has been like I've been a lot freer than like with canvas I think like moving to paper has like helped me a lot and just like okay like I'm just like if it's bad it's I can just do it again <laughs> or I can just like cut it out whereas like with like canvas it feels much more precious and just like I'm so much more like nervous about putting a stroke down which is just like has these like tight paintings that just don't have like movement I guess um 
And so Photoshop, I guess, would help, though. I just sort of, I would upload it, and I'd just sort of, like, play around. I mean, even before making a painting, I would just go in Photoshop, and I'd just be like, okay, how do these colors work together?